Whoa! So, you're probably wondering how we got here. Mm, let me take you back in time. This is my sister Jane. She's six years older than me, and in July, she married this guy. Ethan. Our whole family bopped over to Boston where they live. I cried in the lobby all night writing my maid of honor speech. And on wedding day, we all got ready together. It was super cute and fun. And then the ceremony happened. It was super beautiful. And here are a bunch of selfies of myself that I took to capture the day because obviously the day was all about me. It was a super amazing, fun day celebrating two of my favorite people. But I had yet to give them their wedding gift, which I knew I wanted to be super special and unique. So the next day, this is what happened. Oh! Oh. I'll be coming back in September. And all ex really? All expenses paid. All expenses paid. Generation DIY vacation. Well, gift certificate cannot be redeemed for cash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Once, thanks, Jennifer. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, my camera. Sorry. I will be oh. filming it. Slaying or not slaying? What up, hooligans? It's Jennifer! Welcome back to another room makeover video. Now, today's is a little bit different. One, it's not my condo. Thank God, we're taking a break from that cursed place. Second of all, this is not a room makeover for myself. It's actually a room makeover for my sister and her husband, Ethan. Husband, oh my God. So they recently got married in July. My gift to them was a room makeover. All expenses paid, I'll design it, I'll buy all the items, I'll come fly in and do it. I'm just realizing now that this is the second sibling that I'm surprising with the room makeover. I also did a room makeover for my brother when he was in his angsty boy era. His reaction was very minimal, but rest assured he's a real boy now. This is going to be a very exciting adventure. I don't really know how to tackle room makeover for other people because it's not my personal taste, but it also means that I can experiment more. I'm testing out ideas and aesthetics that I find appealing, but is not my personal style. So it's just a very fun process, but kind of stressful. I am heading to Boston in about two weeks, so I have to get to planning. They sent over a couple of videos of the room that they want to be made over. So let's take a look. Okay, this is our office slash music room. It's kind of not good at any of it because like there's an office here and it's fine when you're just working but it's like a little dark. There's a piano in here and we do play, like I play a lot of piano but it's not like a great vibe. The lighting is not great. So we have like a really like, cool light here. You need like a nice light for office meetings and stuff. At night it's kind of harsh and it's just not fun to make music in this kind of light. I added this light which is more warm but even so it's just like something about the energy in the room is just not not great. It's also this desk here which was Jane's old desk. We don't need to keep this desk. I don't know it'd just be nice to have like an office space where we have officey things and then like a music space where there's like a nice energy for music things. Oh yeah, so there's also like this corner, just thrown stuff here. Lots of random stuff. Like it needs a better home. That's where we charge our scooters. Oh too. yeah, we charge our scooters there too. A little close up of Roman enjoying his chew toy. All right. So it looks like it's their multi-purpose room. It's like an office, music room, storage space at the moment. I feel like we have lots of cool things to work with, but lots of things that we have to get rid of. I definitely want to play into the office vibe as the main vibe. I also asked them to send over a mood board. I am going to open that up. Ooh, uh, 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 uh. Okay, so I'm seeing a mix between a bunch of gallery walls and bookshelf walls, which we can definitely work with. I've never done something like this, so it'll be really fun to try to experiment with. The colors are not normally something I would choose for myself too, which is also fun. I'm seeing a lot of like blue or green accent walls or this dark navy gray, which I feel like would be a good accent wall. I think the arch looks really cool, especially behind the desk. That is a potential idea. For the bookshelf, I really like a bookshelf that's mounted into the wall, but I don't know how feasible that is in their space. They do have a bookshelf in there currently, but it's stood up vertically and I don't really feel like the color of of it matches the aesthetic that they want. I'm seeing a lot of darker toned woods. I kind of have an idea of what they want, so I am going to draw up some designs and I'll BRB. 
All right, I am back with my designs. Honestly, they took me a while. Let's start with one of the walls. This is the original room. It's quite cluttered. We have a piano on this wall, the bookshelf. There's just like a lot going on, even though the two main pieces are just the piano and bookshelf. First of all, we need to do a coat of paint because they specifically stated that the lighting feels a little bit on the cooler tone. Doing a warmer coat of paint could do a lot for the space, especially because of my plans for the accent wall. So I'm thinking kind of like a, a warm off-white with a little bit of a greeny tone. I think something like this would be good. Here's my grand idea. It's not even that grand. I want to flip the bookshelf and then stain the bookshelf to a dark wood color. Now, I don't know how feasible this is because I know that this bookshelf is a laminate. It's like not real wood. So I'm gonna have to do some research and then we add in a cute little rug. I'm not sure about the rug. We might need something a little more colorful. This is like personally what I would go for, but I feel like they won't like this. We add a gallery wall. These are, they're just random. Something like this. And then we got the piano in the corner. Placement, I'm not sure if I want to do diagonal or just like straight against the wall. Depends on how it fits into the space. And then I was like, okay, this is missing something. And when it's missing something, it's usually missing plants. What do we think guys? It's just a mock-up, but I feel like it kind of a vibe. Let's look at the before and after. I feel like it looks a lot better already. So that's that's kind of the general plan. All right, let's move on to the opposite wall, which I'm very excited for. This is kind of what we're working with, right? It's very cluttered. We're gonna have to declutter it, do a coat of paint, and then my grand plan, add an accent wall, but like an arch, a green arch. Look how pretty, I really like this. And it's not something that I would dare to do in my own personal space, so I'm really glad that it's someone else's space that I can experiment with and hopefully not fail, but potentially fail. And then they already have these wall sconces on their wall, so I'm gonna order another one of the same one. They're kind of like spotlights for the desk because I know that they want more warm lighting, so we're gonna put in some warm bulbs there. I don't know if I wanna do two lights on either side or just one in the middle. TBD. Right now I'm feeling like the two on the side kind of look better, but I I really don't know. This is what the desk is gonna look like. We're just gonna add in whatever was already there. It's the same table. And then I want to, again, add a plant. So I wanna add a little bookshelf, add a plant on top. That is the general idea. I am excited. It'll either be really good or really bad. And I really don't know. Let's go to Boston. This is the current state I'm in. Not aesthetic at all, but we gotta get packing. The flight is in three hours. Let's go. Let me get a call from Roland. No way to shut down. Goodbye to the paparazzi. <laughs> Okay, we are off the plane. We're on the front porch of my sister's house. I actually didn't really film that much of our traveling process because it was a red-eye flight and it was a connecting flight. It was like midnight, I was dead, and I only got an hour of sleep max. But I'm here in Boston, ready to slay this room makeover. I'm about to knock on the door and um, let's go surprise her. Hello. Surprise! Hi. Are you ready for your room makeover? Is this our wedding present? Yeah! How'd you get here? I walked from Vancouver. From Vancouver. Roman, are you surprised? <gasps> He's so surprised. The head tilt. So All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, we just got here, but it is time to get to work. We have a party in how many days? Two, three days, question mark, question mark. It's gonna be a Thanksgiving party where the room is gonna be revealed. We need to get to work. ASAP. The Thanksgiving party was in four days, so we had to get moving. We started off by cleaning the room and clearing out things that we didn't need. Okay, I just woke up from the fattest nap of my life because I slept one hour last night. Everything is moved out and we're just like starting to plan the room, so let me give you a little before. So this is kind of what the base of the room looks like. Kind of boring, one-dimensional, but we have some really good architectural pieces to work with. Like, I really like the window framing in this room. Hey, you're not part of the room. Come on. And then it was time to go and pick up some supplies from the hardware store and also some paint samples. By the way, look how cute Boston is in the fall. I love how squat and quaint everything is. I want to live here. But I also say that about like every city I go to. So it just really reminds me of like a white people drama show. Very much like a Gilmore Girls vibe. They have like a mix between this and this right now. You guys know I love a warm toned white. So I'm thinking like 
pearly cotton but this is also just my personal opinion i don't have to see because they don't like white as much as i do i just love it because it's such an easy fix to like lighting problems i know they don't really care about brightness as much they want more vibiness i think we'll have to make some compromises this is the white section they have some darker options so i think i'm gonna look on the darker warmer off-white personally i am more of a fan of yellow green so i love this kind of green or like this kind of green but i know that they like more of a bluey green so maybe we can make a compromise i'm just gonna grab a bunch of swatches i think that because we are going for a green accent honestly i might just be pulling this out of my ass but color theory says that you should choose a similar colored white base i don't know anyway i'm gonna pull a bunch of swatches and we'll test it in the room i have realized that these ones are like a little bit too whoa mommy you want to help or not you want to help pick a pink color what do you think about french vanilla yeah no i agree okay so these ones are a little, are a little bit too beige we got some wet stained paint samples. Personally, I'm kind of leaning towards French canvas. Also, I didn't realize, but this wall is literally not the same color as that wall. Like this actually might be brighter than this. Right now the room is like a bluey tone, which they don't want. They want it to feel more warm. So I feel like this kind of gives it that like warm greeny tone. Either French canvas or old prairie. So the idea for the colors is this is going to be the new like base color for the whole entire room and then the plan is to paint a giant arch on this side of the room as kind of like an accent to highlight the desk area the accent color that i decided on was green i know that my sister likes a more aqua looking green so i'm kind of torn i mean okay obviously it's her room so like i should probably go with what she likes in the end i mean honestly this is not bad either we are running low on time because my little nappity nap was kind of giant the stores might close soon so we gotta bust over to the paint store let's go got the painting supplies let's go all right we are back from the hardware store now we're ready to prep the room so i'm gonna unscrew everything from the wall take down the paintings Woo! separate everything from the wall so that we can start painting <laughs> <laughs> Baking break! Making sweet potato brownies. Vegan and gluten free. Here's the recipe. Everybody steal it. Harvard University Graduate School of Design <laughs> recipe. That's what I learned. These are the sweet potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Maple. Maple syrup. Oh, yeah, it's like. <laughs> Ew! No, nothing's raw. Take it back. Wait, it smells so good. It is. It's literally gonna go. Crack. Crack. Wait, can you hold the bowl? <laughs> this whole ass millennial who was born in the 90s, I was like, oh, it's gonna be May. She's like, oh, you know the Justin Timberlake meme? She said, is it me or May? The meme is it's May. And she's like, <gasps> that's not a different <laughs> song. I thought it was a different song. Gonna be May. Oh, you didn't preheat the oven? What? Was I supposed to? Okay, everybody go watch Bridesmaids right now. Ladies, we're just not gonna do any better than this. I mean, it's a Fritz Bernays. It's a Fritz. Is this millennial humor? <laughs> Yo, May. Okay, wait, let's just swap it like that. <laughs> She's hot and ready. Who? Me. Put her in, put her in. Wait, which side? Up. Oh. Okay, it does look a little lumpy from this side. This is what I'm saying. Gonna be it's May. Gonna be. Oh, Ethan. Oh, Ethan. Huh? <laughs> Ethan. You know the song, It's Gonna Be oh, May. <laughs> It's gonna be May. Good morning. It is day two. Now, we took a little baking break yesterday because I was so exhausted. The red eye flight was kicking my ass. I'm not gonna lie, today I did wake up pretty late because EST has also been kicking my ass. Sleep has been the biggest hurdle during this entire project. We've just gotten started. While I was asleep, my dad, who is the biggest slayer of all time came and like fixed up the walls taped off everything so we are all prepared to paint which is amazing i am going to need to pick up the slack we were supposed to finish painting yesterday which was very ambitious of me so we're gonna try to do as much as we can let's get to painting <gasps> i have to show you the color that we got first here is the paint that we got three two one Ooh. 
This is the color. Wait, it looks really good. You can see against the wall, this is like way bluer than this is. I think it's gonna look really good. Not sponsored, but this is my bestie, Benjamin Moore. Okay, let's paint. <gasps> Wait, I love the color. So while I finished up painting, my dad and Ethan took the bookshelf outside to sand it so it would be prepped for staining. The next day, the paint was dry, the walls were looking so good, so I started ripping off the tape, but then I got distracted because I realized we had to go to Home Depot first to pick up some things. Okay, I'm really torn between these two. I love a good warm tone. I'm scared this might be too dark. So many plants. I'm looking for a hanging plant, but I didn't realize that they had these kinds of plants that was like just basically in a flat casserole dish. That's not gonna work. I think I found what I want. It's these kinds of plants that kind of hang over the edge and cascade. Hello! We just got back from Home Depot and ate lunch. I was literally starving. Recharged, got our blood sugar up. Now I want to do a little haul. This little wood block. So I'm planning on putting a shelf on this side of the room where the desk is gonna be and I'm gonna paint this green arch. It's gonna hold a cascading plant. I think it'll look really cute. Not sure if I want to stain this yet. If I stain it, it would match the bookshelf more. Speaking of the stain, let me show you all the staining materials that I got. Honestly, it's like something I've never done before so I am crossing my fingers that it's actually gonna work. Because the current bookshelf is not real wood, it's laminate, you can't just like sand off the top layer and restain it because it's obviously not real wood like that. So I have to treat it like I'm creating a new wood layer slash texture. It's kind of complicated. These are going to be the three layers. We already sanded it last night. We're going to prime it and then we're going to stain it but using gel wood stain. This basically like sits on top of whatever material that you're painting. And so you can use this for a lot of different surfaces. I'm not sure how well this is gonna work, but we'll see. This is the color that I chose. It's called Hickory. It's like this dark wood. And to seal it all in, I got this polyurethane, which all of these things sound so toxic for you, which I know they are. Am I gonna get cancer from them one day? Probably. I think I'm gonna die from like literally making over rooms, but the the saying is that you will die from doing something you love. I'm not opposed to it, I just don't want to die anytime soon. Those are the three steps, priming, staining, and top coats. We're like cutting it really close to when everything needs to be done. We have to do it right now. We're gonna be doing a couple different projects at the same time. In order to paint, I got a roller, painting supplies, got this exciting plant purchase, which is fig leaf tree. I think I showed you in the store. And then we have these two hanging plants. Look at how cute they are. These are perfect, exactly what I wanted. This one is a low light plant. So I'm gonna have to be strategic about where I put these because low light is perfect. This room doesn't get a ton of light. Also, got a new ceiling light. This one honestly kind of looks similar to the one that they have right now. This one, you can choose the type of color that you want. And then it also has like a night light function. I'm gonna be honest, I have never done electrical work before. So I may electrocute myself and die because of this project. We'll get to that later. Here's the plan. My dad is outside prepping the bookshelf. So he is going to be priming the bookshelf, painting everything down, making sure that the stain will actually stick to the bookshelf. And at the same time, I'm going to be working on painting this arch for this wall. So I'm gonna be mapping out the design. We are multitasking. Characteristically, I'm just a very slow person at doing things. I love like detailed work. My dad is the complete opposite. He gets stuff done really fast. He doesn't pay as much attention to the details as I do. So we're kind of a good match for that. I'm gonna need to channel some dad DIY energy for today because we have to get stuff 
done. Let's go. All right, this is the wall that I'm working with. I guess I should start by measuring the desk and then seeing how wide that is. I need tape measure. Oh, by the way, this is how the color turned out. I'll show you more of an overview once we've like taken off all of the painter's tape. I didn't think it was gonna be this green, but I actually really like it. It's a very unique color. I think it's gonna work really well with the accent color. That's what we're going with now. 11 feet. I should write all of this down. I'm thinking the arch can be like six feet. Wait, it can be higher than that. That's actually really tall. I'm not gonna lie. Also, this is making me realize that a lot of guys that I know who are saying that they're six foot are not actually six foot. 80 inches is probably good. For Halloween, I want to be in love. And that's all I want to say. Anyway, let's get back to girl bossing. I have finished mapping out the circle, or not the circle, the arch. I also changed my shirt because this is my painting shirt. I think my dad has actually finished priming. So we're going to go stain the bookshelf together because we need that to dry ASAP. So this is the gel stain. Let's try it. Whoa. Okay, I'm glad I went with the lighter color of the two because this is already really dark. So it already looks like wood over here. Shelf. It's out there drying. We have to wait eight hours until we can top coat it. So we're gonna top coat it tomorrow morning. We're really hitting that crunch time right now. But time to paint the arch. I'm very excited to present to you the color. I haven't seen it in the flesh yet. So we're gonna see if it's actually what I wanted. <gasps> Whoa, look at that color. I'm really not mad at it. Let's paint the arch. I love painting these kinds of more detailed things because I feel like I'm actually putting my skills to use rather than like painting walls is just kind of straight manual labor. This is more like it feels more artistic. Maybe it's a mento thing. Chicken and then you put in the onions, carrots, and potatoes and then just let it simmer in this stuff for like 20 minutes mm -hmm. and it's so good. You've made it before? Yeah, I make it all the time. Ooh. Is this ginger or potatoes? It's all ginger. It's all ginger. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy! It's all ginger. ginger. <laughs> That's our main starch. My dad has uninstalled the light from the ceiling. We've turned off the power breaker and now it's time to install the new lighting. You can choose the color temperature of the light that you want. I feel like neutral white is just very neutral. I think soft white would also work, but I feel like what they're looking for is neutral white. On this light, there's a nighttime setting. It's just like a darker, dimmer, warmer shade. We're just gonna set it at neutral, see where that takes us. light. This is how it looks like in the room. We actually ended up changing it to soft white instead of neutral white. This room is naturally very blue so I feel like it balances out better and it still feels very bright and like daylighty. But look at this night mode. I am literally obsessed. It looks like a spaceship. I think it'll be so cool and moody. Hello all. I am now outside. I have been wearing the same shirt for like three days because this is my dedicated painting shirt. I'm not just being purposefully musty. Anyway, I have an update for you. <laughs> a tragic update. Let me show you what's going on with the bookshelf. All right, let me show you, like, are you kidding me, bro? This is literally so tragic. And I feel like it was looking pretty decent too. Like it actually looks like real wood, but oh God, this is so sad. Now maybe this is my fault. Maybe I didn't do enough research. Although I feel like I have done ample research and like everybody else who's used gel stain has like, it's worked miraculously for them. I don't know if I'm just not waiting long enough. It's been like 
15 hours and it's still not dried one bit. I just looked online and sometimes gel stain can take up to like 24, 48, 72 hours. We just don't really have that kind of time. This is the new idea. We're gonna wipe everything off. We're just gonna buy straight up wall paint and paint it on like that. And I feel like using the same bristle brushes will give the same effect. It'll dry within the hour. And then that way we can top coat it super easy today, let it dry. Cause we still need to let the top coat dry in order to put stuff on it. We gotta get to work. Let's wipe off all the hard work that we did yesterday. We'll take the L, we'll take the L. I'm literally so deep in the trenches right now. We are almost done wiping everything off of the bookshelf. My dad's gonna do the rest while I quickly go and pick up the paint. When we put on the wood stain, I thought it was gonna turn out warmer than it actually was, and that's because the primer color was white. I think I'm gonna choose a warmer tone brown to balance that out. So I guess I did learn something. You really win some, you lose some. We lost a lot today. I'm just hoping this is gearing me up for some good karma. Guys, it's literally been like two minutes and it's already dry and it already looks way better. You live and you learn. La Vida Loca. The one complication about it drying fast is that I can't make these notches as easily. This one looks pretty good actually. That is the vibe. Let's keep going. She really loves painting, so we're gonna invite her in on this process. I'm teaching her how to make the notches. It's mm. kind of, you know, let's just say that she's not yet the master of the notches. I didn't like her. completely dry but it scratches off super easily so we are gonna have to top coat it i'm like kind of worried because like as much as we try to wipe off the stain some of it is probably still on there so i feel like that's contributing to why it scratches off so easily hopefully this top coat which is polyurethane will seal everything in and make sure it doesn't scratch off anymore we shall see Hello, welcome back inside. There's literally so many different things going on right now. I'm currently waiting for the sealer top coat for the bookshelf to dry. Meanwhile, I'm inside. Let me give you an update on how the interior is looking. This is how the arch turned out. I think it looks so good. The color is actually perfect. I really like it in the room. Right now, there's still a lot of painter's tape left in the room that I began to take off yesterday, but I didn't really finish, so I'm gonna do that. And then I have a couple of exciting packages to unbox for you guys that are things that I received for the room that we have to install. Let's get to it! Alright, all of the paint is now- no, imagine if all of the paint was off the walls like the stain was off of the bookshelf. <laughs> It's too soon, it's too soon. All of the painter's tape is off of the walls. The arch looks so good. Honestly, it's a little bit lopsided, but I'm hoping nobody else will notice. Anyway, let's unbox some packages. Exciting stuff. They are lighting. This one, I believe, is for the desk wall. Yeah, this is the light. So I basically ordered the exact same light as they do right now because they originally had one like right beside the bookshelf that was really out of place and like I do like this lamp but I feel like it needs to be balanced out so I got a second one and they're going to be on either side of the accent. Oh my god, love! This is the same color as the one that they have right now. Let me just go check real quick. Yes, perf, perf, perf! Oh, I'm so excited. They look so good already and this should be not too difficult to install. Now for the exciting package. This was not a part of the original plan, but I saw this on Wayfair and I was like, I must have it. It is quite relevant to one of the residents who lives here. wall light but it's 
a monkey. And then the light bulb goes here, which I stopped by. But isn't that so cool? Okay, so here's why it's relevant. It's because my sister is the year of the monkey. And so when I saw this, I was like, this is perfect for the gallery wall. I figured this would be a great centerpiece to work around. I love the gold. I feel like it fits so well with this lamp color. This is the little tail that I still have to install. I'm dying. It's so good. Look at the little details. Let's install some stuff. Bye. Guys, I, at first I thought gel stain was a gift from the gods. It turns out it's literally Satan. Even on wood, it doesn't like dry down. I think because it, it doesn't penetrate into the wood, it just like sits on top. But I still would have expected it to dry more. It literally doesn't want to. Would not recommend. It's still sticky, but eventually it'll dry, I feel like. And um, no one's really gonna touch this up there so it'll just sit there the color is really nice i will say but it's just not worth the trouble <laughs> that has been happening for all of these walls. We are hitting a lot of different obstacles inside the walls. Wires, studs, brick, everything of the sort. All of these walls have something in them. We already like tried to work around this wall and we already like omitted some screws that are like kind of optional. I'm pretty sure this entire half of the wall is like brick because it's an exterior facing wall. So this is a little bit complicated because we don't know how to hang up this one. No. We're finding some parameters. This is basically where everything starts. But here right. to here is like all brick. So we can either put the monkey like on the edge here or more in the middle. Yeah, like right between there. Yay. <gasps> no. So agonizing. We're literally like trying to find a wall, like millimeter by millimeter. One of them worked, and then the one right next to it didn't work. <laughs> I'm literally in the trenches right now. Not a vibe. We're drilling ourselves into the trenches. Oh. Uh, JT what? Miller. JP Morgan. JP Morgan. Hockey, hockey break. Yeah. Garland. Yeah. Boo. Good morning, everybody. It is the next day. We have some very exciting updates. I'm wearing a new shirt. Yeah, very exciting stuff. Other than that, more minor updates. This is kind of the state that the room is in. We moved the bookshelf in last night and we got all of the books into the shelf. It's looking really good. Also, the sealer on the bookshelves works so well. It dried in like two hours. It's like not chipping at all. Highly recommend. Polyurethane probably works on any which surface you choose. We also moved the desk onto the accent wall and they look so good and office-y. <laughs> they have a lot of wires. Also moved the piano into this space over here and then also took out the old rug that was in here. So many updates this morning. Didn't film it all, but now I'm about to unbox the new rug that we got. I'm really excited for it because it also is kind of like an accent piece. We have a lot of accents in this room. For some reason, everything is working really well together. Obviously, like we still have to deal with this wall. Oh, update about this wall. Our bestie monkey light is still sitting on the wall because we literally were fighting for our lives in the trenches with this wall, trying to find an area where we could drill holes into the wall without hitting brick or wood or metal or wires. And we finally found like, I swear to God, like the only three empty spaces in the wall. So we are going to hang that up. But again, right now, I'm going to unravel the area rug. So let's do that. Open up the sink, we just gotta like 
Actually, I feel like it looks good in this room though. The, the, and <laughs> decor. Wait, really? Nobody else likes the ladder in the room as decor, but I can I think it's a vibe. Like, imagine just hanging some plants for it. Nobody sees my vision. <laughs> Wait. Oh my god, it works so well in the space. Oh my god. Guys, this fits so well into the space. Let me show you. Oh my god. So we were supposed to leave the reveal to the end, but Miss Girl is seeing stuff, so. Well, also, we got four hours till go time. So. Okay, yeah, we ended up turbo mode. Also, like, yeah, like, it's not that I big of a surprise. I can still for the final thing. Okay, okay, let's pretend. We pretend. This Gonna... is a generation DIY. Oh, yeah, I did. If you guys have been around for a long time, you'll remember this shirt. People love this shirt. I was walking on the street. I had a guy, like, roll down his window and stop his car and be like, that's an awesome shirt. So my shirt was catcalled. But, like, not in that kind of way. Mm. All right, turbo time. <laughs> Oh yeah, I guess it's Oh, oh that's really wow. That's really good. It looks really bright. Wow. Like, oh, it gives like a cave atmosphere. Wait, with this orb like Ooh. in the daytime, it's like office, like work, 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 type, 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 beep boop. And then at night, wow. Amazing room, vibe room. Dare I say we kind of popped off? And we're not even finished yet. But we got turbo mode, the party's in like two hours, so let's go. All right, guys, things are really coming together. But here's my dilemma. My original design had a gallery wall, which was the entire premise, which we built the room around. I'm looking around the room now, and there are already a lot of things on the wall that are like accent things. So I feel like it actually would be too much to have a gallery wall. We have this original art piece that they had above their desk that looks like this, and it's huge. So I'm thinking instead of a whole gallery, well, maybe we just hang this and call it a day because I feel like it fills the space perfectly. It balances out the color on the accent arch. I think I'm gonna do it, which is honestly good for me because I don't have to figure out mapping for the gallery wall, what looks good, what shapes and that kind of thing. This just solves all my issues and I think it works better. So let's hang it up. Okay. It was now 30 minutes before the guests would arrive, so it was time for some final touches. All right, guys, the room is finally finished. We have all of the final touches in the room. I turned the lights to this like vibey, ambient, like night mode. It's so moody and like I'm literally obsessed with it. And dare I say, I think we did a very good job. Let's bring in my sister and Ethan to check out the room. Okay, I've actually changed. We're ready to do the room reveal. They're standing outside. Are you guys eyes closed? Oh yeah. Okay, three, two, one, walk in. Don't open your eyes. Ready? Feels like my birthday. Three, two, one, open your eyes. Whoa! Wow, wow the lighting is way uh -huh. different. Yeah. I love this light. Yeah. Oh, it's the so colorful too. Yeah, yeah, I love the green. It feels like alive. The room is alive. New office chair. Oh, yeah. This is nice. And it works with the warm tones of the carpet. Oh yeah, it yeah. kind of matches. Mm -hmm. kind of matches the I love this rug. It ties the whole room together. In the piano area. Yeah, it doesn't look ugly anymore. No, <laughs> that, that's the goal. And I, so. I thought we needed a gallery wall that was like a lot of different yeah. things. But I think you're right in that there's already a lot going on in the room. This actually mirrors this yeah. wall really well. I think that this works really well because it, it's like kind of a similar color. Where did you get this? This is, I made it. This yeah. is James. Is okay, this is me. All the hardware mm -hmm. matches. And we have some plants in the room, which I think add a lot of life and vibrancy. Royal, royal vibes. Yeah. If this was a great excuse to just clean out the room. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. 
Do you guys like the room? Yes. No. I love it. Try <laughs> <laughs> Yes. All right, yay! Mission accomplished. Yay. We have a room that everyone likes, at least to my face. We have a party coming up in like 20 minutes. Thank you! Thank you, Jennifer. Group hug because Jennifer hates ah, group hug. I hate physical. <laughs> I hate physical touch, but I'll accept it. And thank you to Dad DIY. Yes, behind the camera. Oh my gosh, I am doing so much work and being so productive. <laughs> Then all the guests arrived and we had our Thanksgiving bash. It was super fun and um, very thankful, if you will. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed and more room makeovers and other struggles to come. See you next time, bye. bye.